gas temperature and pressure. In this video, you'll learn how the pressure of a gas is related to the temperature of the gas. We know from kinetic theory that a gas is made from particles that constantly move in a rapid and random motion with lots of space between the particles. Because the particles are constantly moving, they collide into each other and into the walls of their container. Every time a particle collides with a wall, it puts a force on an area of the wall, which causes pressure. So we see the pressure of a gas is due to forces on the container walls caused by moving particles colliding with the walls. I'm going to show two animations to make sure you understand. Both animations have a gas in a sealed container with a fixed volume. Please note, one side of the container is made from glass, just so you can see inside. Both containers have a fixed mass of gas inside. I've simplified the model by only putting 20 particles in each container. In real life, there'd be millions of particles. This first animation shows how gas particles move at a low temperature. Pay attention to how many collisions there are per second between the gas particles and the container walls. Are there a lot or only a few? And what about the force of each collision? Is it soft or hard? More energy or less energy? Now, look at this second animation of a gas at higher temperature. Compared to the first animation, are there less collisions per second between the gas particles and the walls or more? And what about the force of each collision? Are the collisions softer or harder? More energy or less energy? Let's put the animation side by side so you can compare them easier. Remember, the pressure of a gas is due to forces on the container walls caused by moving particles colliding with the walls. At low temperature, the pressure is low because the particles have a low average kinetic energy, so move slow, which causes less collisions per second between the particles and the container walls, and each collision is low energy, so it only puts a small force on the wall. At high temperature, the pressure is high because the particles have a high average kinetic energy, so move fast, which causes more collisions per second between the particles and the container walls and each collision is high energy, so that puts a large force on the walls. So we've discovered how the pressure of a gas is related to the temperature of the gas, and you can now explain that the pressure of a fixed mass and volume of gas depends on two things, how many collisions there are per second, and how much energy each collision has, and they both increase when the temperature increases. Hit the like button if you found the video useful and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. Put a comment below if you like the animations. And apart from that, work hard, be nice and bye for now.